Hello everybody, this is Ardi from donenumabar.com and today we have special guest, Mr. Mark Papermaster, who is the CTO, it means Chief Technology Officer for AMD and uh, maybe some of you uh, probably know him also the former Apple Vice President in charge of the uh, hardware engineering or maybe, but I'm not sure. And Mark, first of all, thank you very much for being with us today. Actually, um, I cannot find the right words to describe or show how I am happy to be with you here. Well, we're very happy to be here. Thanks for uh, uh, having us join your interview here today. It's such an exciting time for AMD and the industry when you look at uh, how technology is changing mm -hmm. and creating whole new opportunities of how we use computing and visualization in our lives. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have some topics to discuss with you, and my first question is going to be about the VR, virtual reality. Mm -hmm. it's, it is not a new technology, it is not a new concept, but uh, probably with Oculus, last three years, uh, we talked lots about the virtual reality, and probably uh, next decade, we will talk more. So, yes. uh, what is the importance of the virtual reality for AMD, and also for all kind of uh, technology company and all people? Excellent. Well, first of all, you're exactly right. Virtual reality, that technology, has been around some time. So we can say, why has it taken until now uh, to have uh, applications? Well, and th really what you see right now is several technological factors mm -hmm. make it ready. Mm -hmm. One, you have the proper processing power. This is what we focus on in AMD. Mm -hmm. It's very strong compute and graphics capability at an affordable price. Uh, second, uh, you have to have the right uh, software capabilities. It turns out for virtual reality mm -hmm. to create that content, what the people are using now is the same type of software they use to create games. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now the software making and is uh, there. Also, the visualization to be able to get uh, imagery. Let's say you want to do a news report in VR. Mm -hmm. Now there's inexpensive cameras where you can do a 360 degree surround capture mm -hmm. of the images around you. But the last piece was what you said. It was about Oculus, it was about HTC Vive, it was about uh, Samsung and, and Microsoft mm -hmm. and Sony uh, all coming out with head mount displays that allow you to experience this mm -hmm. again at an affordable price. And that just began this year. So now you have all of the capability and so it's about creating content. And now, so the, the market will take off as the content comes. And at AMD, we're committed to make sure that we have technology today so you have a good VR experience, but there's much more to go. Our roadmaps improve that experience mm -hmm. at each generation to make it more seamless, to make it feel like you're really transported and you can't even tell the difference. Eventually, it will take some years, mm -hmm. but eventually virtual reality will be very similar to the experience you and I have as we talk to one another. Mm -hmm. It will be hard to tell the difference. So how AMD try to differentiate itself in virtual reality race because everybody tried to enter the market but probably we have some uh, points. For example, Radeon RX 480 is a, one of the best graphic cards you can buy in the market right now for virtual reality. So how AMD uh, differentiate itself in the virtual reality? Well, the first thing we did to differentiate ourselves was help the industry to create these applications. Mm -hmm. All of the uh, early VR what you saw is people actually did not have a good experience. Mm -hmm. They would become sick, almost like a motion sickness after watching a virtual reality experience. Mm -hmm. And the reason was uh, twofold. Uh, they didn't have uh, sufficient uh, engines, graphic engines, and so uh, that was a problem. But also, you have to have uh, the software to allow you uh, to leverage, to use that hardware to have a good experience. 18 months ago, AMD put out what we call Liquid VR. It's a software development kit that made it easy mm -hmm. uh, for the developers to use uh, the hardware to have a good experience, to not have the motion sickness, mm -hmm. and to reduce any uh, delay or uh, as you move your head from side to side, uh, that you don't have a lag in the performance. So that was one. Second, you mentioned the RX 480. When AMD uh, Radeon uh, RX 480 was released, we changed the game. It had been very, very expensive for previous graphics cards that gave you a good VR experience. We uh, brought that price to about $200 US. Amazing. That's so you have VR ready, VR certified graphics card, $200, much, much less than uh, people could have before. So that's, we are uh, committed, AMD, to accelerate 
uh, the VR industry to make it affordable and a great experience. Virtual reality is still a premium category because graphic cards are okay, but the headsets still so expensive for the mainstream customers. So do you have any projection about the feature of the headsets? We will see the cheaper solutions in the market, maybe near future. I do. Uh, the initial systems, of course, there's uh, are always, at any time you see new products introduced in an industry, uh, you'll see a premium price at the beginning. Uh, and then what you'll see is, as the production proceeds, uh, the manufacturer is able to lower their costs and pass that savings on to the customers. Mm -hmm. that, that trend that you have seen in many other products will occur mm -hmm. for these uh, headsets to experience virtual reality. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will each generation see two things. You'll see improvement on the high end, you'll see new features and capability being added, and those will still remain a premium price. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, previous generations, you know, at each turn will become much more affordable. Other point is the content, because virtual reality, nothing without the content. So yes. to be honest, AMD is gaining momentum day by day with the uh, RTG groups. So, but the developer relations is slightly different kind of things. What are you doing right now for the developer sites? We will see more AMD friendly content uh, in the future, not just for the virtual reality and for the all kind of games, gamers. Well, we're very focused on the developer relationships. It's critical for us. Uh, AMD is, is, is really a phenomenal gaming platform. Let's start with the gaming industry. So we have an entire team working with the game industry. Uh, you'll see new releases of our graphics drivers regularly that optimize performance as new game titles come out. So very close relationship optimizing so you get the premium experience, the best experience on AMD Radeon. Mm -hmm. That will repeat for virtual reality. That same team uh, is working with the virtual reality content creators. Uh, we are working with them to optimize, just like we have tuned um, our product so that you can run, if you run, look at DirectX 12, DX12, mm -hmm. great performance on AMD Radeon. Uh, you'll see the same. Uh, in fact, many of the virtual reality content creators are using similar approaches that the game creators use, similar software. So it, it, you'll see us uh, grow our relationships exactly as we have with gaming, and uh, companies like to partner with AMD. That's our strength. You mentioned content creators, and I think virtual reality also has a huge potential for the content creators. Um, so you also launched the new products for the professionals, I mean, especially for the content creators. Let's talk about a little bit the uh, professional graphic cards from AMD. Yes, it's a great question. So, to help spur content creation, we actually launched a new brand for AMD mm -hmm. called Radeon Pro. Yeah. Radeon Pro is exactly tailored specifically for content creators, mm -hmm. uh, giving them the, the right engine capability, the right performance, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the software tools needed to create content. So, we have uh, created a special group uh, to work with those on content creation mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that where it be CAD tools, uh, generation of, uh, of imagery needed for virtual reality, uh, again, some of these game engine software companies are now uh, having that, that uh, work for virtual reality, mm -hmm. all, all, really all of them are. Uh, so we have tailored to run Radeon Pro. Here we are at the IFA mm -hmm. uh, convention here in Berlin and uh, had the opportunity to give a keynote presentation mm -hmm. here. and. Actually, the entire display, it was beautiful graphics, was run on Radeon Pro. Mm -hmm. So we, we are using our own product uh, to create a very beautiful and rich mm -hmm. visualization. Actually, it is good to hear that. And to be honest, I can't wait to see the Zen, Zen-based CPUs from AMD. And uh, actually, I already published the video, uh, which inside the deep-type analysis of the Zen. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the Zen. Okay. What will we see in the future about the Zen-based products from AMD? Well, first, let's, uh, uh, for your uh, viewing public, let's talk about what Zen is. Zen is our brand new x86 high-performance CPU processing core. And we started this project four years ago, almost four years ago, mm -hmm. because we wanted to get back into a leadership performance. We'd always had excellent uh, CPU energy processing. You see that in our, uh, in our PCs. You see that in game consoles. We partnered with Microsoft, Sony, to provide uh, CPU and graphics for game consoles. But we wanted to be back in high performance. So that's what we've done with Zen. And you ask, well, when will we see that in products? We actually are, are uh, sampling this product with our 
customers today. So they're starting that test process. We've demoed this to the public. Excellent performance. Uh, we'll start with high performance desktop systems early in 2017, so actually just months away. We believe we'll be very, very competitive. We don't put out the actual performance specifications until we release the product, but we're quite confident. In fact, we showed a demo running with uh, our competition's highest end uh, 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 desktop, uh, and we uh, ran a blender benchmark, so a, a wide range of of type of workloads that's running, and we showed that the Zen processor with identical graphics card uh, to our competition, identical memory, uh, ran this blender, a very demanding application, and actually beat our competition. Not, not by a large amount, but beat the competition. So that tells you that we have fully achieved the high performance objective that we set out to do with Zen. For, with Zen. And this is exciting for the industry. The industry wants to see that type of competition out there. So we'll tell you more and show you uh, uh, even uh, other areas that I think you'll be quite excited to see how Zen improves the performance and the experience for our customers. So, Mark, before ending our interview, do you have any message to Turkish customers? Because you have many fans in Turkey, so mm -hmm. maybe you want to tell something to Turkish customers and readers. Yes, I'd love to. What I can tell you is AMD is very excited at this point in their history because we've been working the last several years to create a kind of graphics processing capability and a kind of CPU processing capability that can create new experiences for you. So as we bring out these new products, we think you're going to see tremendous gains in your experience. Uh, and I want to tell you that what's coming with virtual reality and other applications will open up whole new types of usage that you can have for this technology. We look forward to your feedback, but we think you'll be very, very happy with our new products. Perfect. Actually, I am so excited to see new products from AMD. Mark, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. I enjoyed uh, being here and talking to you.